Remy and Casey, 92.3 WIL, our Boots and Bourbon concert series continues with our good friend, Andrew Janakis. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are y'all? Thank well, you for having me. You know what? I, I'm so excited to have you in St. Louis. This is the pageant. This is an awesome room to play in. Absolutely. And there's a lot of firsts that have happened on this trip. Can you take us through that? Yeah. So first real, like, full band show. Um, and biggest one is first bus run with a full band. Wow. So we, we, we skipped the, the trailer in the van and uh, just went straight to the bus. We have, like, you, nah. <laughs> have you slept on the bus yet? No. Man, I tried to this morning, um, but I felt bad. I wanted to give the guys a good, a good night's rest, so I gave them the middle bunks, and I took a bottom, and Aww. I was like, we'll, we'll, we'll sleep tonight. That's awesome. When I'm actually tired. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. So I, I hear that you you are into manifestation and the power of speaking 100%. things into existence. And I mean, I feel like that's exactly how you got here when it comes to, you know, your journey. Is there anything that you're currently like speaking to existence or was it the bus thing right now? Yeah, it, honestly, the last thing that I really spoke into existence was just getting to like play live shows. True. And I mean, that's happening now. Yeah. Um, so I guess the next thing we'll speak into existence is a is a solid tour. That's a good one. Yeah. And yeah. your family, you said your family's out there with like 40 uh, seats. A bunch of them. Yeah, they sold like 40 tickets. So there's a bunch of Greeks out there tonight. That's right. <laughs> okay, and Greek, that was my next question. Yep. What is your last name? Gen okay, so I get this all the time, a lot, <laughs> more than anyone probably will know. I've had Janikos, Janakos. I've had maybe two people in my life say it right, which is okay. But uh, it's Janakis. Janakis, and Janakis. it's Greek. It's Greek. We love that. That's something you don't always hear in country music. Yeah. I, I was like a, a country Greek guy. I'm going to do this thing. Why not? <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of us said Hanukkah on the air. We did. Wanakis or something, yeah. We, we finally got it, though. That's, that's actually close to what it really is. Our real name I knew that. is Yanokopoulos. Yanokopoulos. But we Americanized it to Janakis because Are nobody you... nobody could pronounce Yanokopoulos. But guess what? Nobody can pronounce Janakis either. <laughs> Are you related? <laughs> is, is that any um, relation to the uh, Jesse Katsopoulos? Um uh, from Full House, Jesse? I don't know, but I could, maybe rippers. I should go on Ancestry. Yeah, okay, and, maybe I'm uh, digging too deep and, here. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so uh, your story is is pretty interesting because you went the unorthodox route into, into music. So mm -hmm. we find you on Instagram doing covers. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the call that you get from the producers of The Voice to audition is that a is that a fun call they may, yeah. they pump you up or so it's more of an email but i mean we, you could we could say you could say call <laughs> but um did it go to junk <clears throat> it was no it was okay, super good. super cool you know i was already thinking of trying out for a show like that so i was like me and my my wife were talking about like trying out for american idol or america's got talent or something and then two days after speaking it into existence um Somebody emailed me from The Voice. They were like, hey, we saw your Instagram. We love your sound. We'd love for you to audition for the show. And um, I went to Atlanta, did some auditions. Went to L.A., did some auditions. And then it all happened really fast. So when I got off the show, that's when it was time for me to go, all right, now I have the opportunity to either take this and run as fast as I possibly can with it and see what we could do or just go back to the regular old thing that I was doing. And I was not going back to doing that. Do you like the words TikTok? Yeah. I mean, is that because that's yeah. kind of associated with your name now, 100%. right? 100%. So TikTok kind of launched everything, right? Yeah, man. You know, it, and it was even crazier to have that during like a pandemic. Like, you know, it, it literally happened right in the middle of COVID. And um, so it was extremely interesting, but it was also like one of the biggest blessings that the biggest blessing that's ever happened to me, man. So. It's uh, the power of social media for, for one thing, but the power of TikTok and the people on TikTok and the fans on TikTok, they're, they're legit. They're real. Something that we find fun about TikTok is that you never know what's going to pop off. Like, you could not try yeah. on a video at all, and that's the one that goes viral. You could be stirring <laughs> chicken tacos yes. with a butter knife. <laughs> that was my next question. So that's, that's kind of what happened. You <clears throat> sang while you were cooking, mm -hmm. and that was your first viral video, and yeah. now you cook and sing all the time on TikTok. 
do you have like a signature dish? Do you consider yourself like the chef of the house? On it, oh, I'm definitely. Well, I wouldn't say chef of the house because my wife is she's she's a pretty good cook as well. Being Italian, like uh, all yeah. Italians are yeah, good so, cooks. So much good food in your house. I'm oh sure. God. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I really on it. I don't know if I have like a favorite dish. I yeah. just like to like. I don't know. I, I like to cook steak. So maybe steak is my favorite dish. Yeah. It reminds us a lot of our friend Alexandra Kay. Yeah, Are you familiar I love with Alexandra. Her? We do, we've done videos together. Yeah, she grew up in St. Louis. Yeah, and so that we were watching her, and we were like, "Oh, she's in the kitchen. She's singing. She's making coffee. She's viral." Yeah, yeah. She's in Just the headlines like every day. Just like that. So it's crazy the power of TikTok and social media, and how far it's brought you in yeah. such a short amount of time. Absolutely, and she's I I, I love her so much. She's so sweet. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet. So tell us about the new music. Tell us about getting out on tour now and, and, and performing in front of live audiences. I know the you know the pandemic has kind of taken us away from that. Yeah. Never take live music for granted ever again. So so we have the new EP. I don't know if I'm allowed to say there's more stuff coming, but I've been working very hard. She's nodding. You're good. At uh, I win. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been writing a lot of new music, and um, I'm really excited to get it out there. Just the way that I did my EP, you know, I, and it, it all happened again so fast, but I was so blessed to be able to write such like cool songs that I believe in and feel with my like heart. And uh, so many people have connected to them that it's o almost overwhelming. It's like, okay, well, if we have this many songs, what are we going to do with them all? Like we yeah. can't just release them all, can we? But um, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of special stuff coming. Yeah, super, We're super looking forward to it. it. Looking forward to nice. it. Uh, Hugh Jackman is one of my like all-time uh, crushes <laughs> of, the, of the male variety. And I was listening. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast he was doing, going back to the manifestation thing. Mm -hmm. He says he starts every day with, "Wouldn't it be wild if dot dot dot." So I'm hoping that you know, wouldn't it be wild if you had a kick butt show tonight? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's Andrew go. Andrew Janakis, Boots and Bourbon, presented by 92.3 WIL. Come on.